Good morning, church. We welcome the children to come up at this point in a new spot to sit over here. It's wonderful to see so many of you here today, so I hope you take the chance to get out of your pew, move around, and come and join us in this spot, and soon you'll see why. We're in a season of church now, the Easter season. Easter is not just one day, it keeps going for this whole season. And so during this special time of year, our kids' sermons will now include a special guest. And that guest will be someone who goes to St. Paul here and is in the 12th grade, meaning a high school senior is going to join us for these special Easter Sundays. And I've asked the senior to help us shed some light on one of the church windows that you see all around us in this space because they're beautiful, they're amazing, and they do have stories to tell within them as we're learning to tell the story of Jesus. So today we have Zoe Buchanan with us. She's a 12th grader and she goes to Warwick High School and I will ask her three questions on behalf of you all. The first question is one she might get asked anyway, so let's just get it out there. Zoe, what might be next for you after you're done with high school? So I have a couple more months left until I graduate. Um, I'll be home working for the summer and then in August, I am moving to Valencia, Spain for my first year of college at the Berkeley College of Music, which is located in Boston, but I'm doing my first year abroad. So that is what's in store for me next year. That sounds amazing. She'll be going to another country, and I know she's going to see and do amazing things there. Question number two. Which window, Zoe, when you've looked at it as you've worshipped at St. Paul, is amazing to you? My favorite window in the church is right behind all of you. It's the west window. Um, it's my favorite because my favorite form of worship is through music. And Miss Becky over here helps me share that with the church. And often when we're rehearsing for worship through music, we do that after school. So that's around 3 or 4 o'clock. And at that time when I'm here in the church, the sun is over in this area in the sky, and it hits that window in such a way that all of the colors just paint themselves on this wall over here, and I, I think it is so beautiful and amazing. Boys and girls, today in the gospel that we just heard read, Jesus appears to his friends, and they are amazed. They are a little scared. They're taken aback. They're filled with joy. They're amazed that Jesus really is alive, and he's with them, and he's got good news for them, for them in their heart, and for them to share with others. So the third question for Zoe is, Zoe, what about this window shows you the amazement of life with Jesus? So luckily, I have this little laser pointer. And okay. if you see that little dot on Do the wall, see the it points red things out. So down here at the bottom of the window is this like man figure that to me kind of resembles all of us as a like a collective community. And then above it are some elements of the physical world that we live in. So here you see a city um, on fire. You see the ash coming up in the smoke. And then this little green, green part here is kind of like the plants. And it, it specifically is an olive plant that kind of represents peace. Here uh, you see two hands reaching for each other, kind of like the hand of man and the hand of God connecting the physical and spiritual worlds. And then up towards the top, this is my favorite part. This up here is outer space. This is the moon and the sun. It kind of looks like they're almost about to eclipse like we saw last week. And I just think that this window really beautifully represents all of the amazing features of the physical world that we have as gifts from, from God. Oh, I love it. So boys and girls, we thought we'd sit over here so that you could have a good view of the window. But to the whole church, I invite you as, you as you could look at it now, but as you're leaving church at the very least, to maybe pay attention to something you haven't seen real deeply before and see how this special window was designed to help us see God's amazing work in the world still today. So let's say a prayer, and then we've got kids' bulletins for you to take back that Zoe can share with you. Please uh, let's bow our heads and fold our hands and repeat after me. Thank you, Lord, for your amazing love. Help me see it. Help me hear it. And help me show it. Amen.